Did you know pretty much every calico is a female? The rare male calicos are sterile and unlucky. Today we're diving into the colorful world of calicos, chatting about their personalities and the science behind their one-of-a-kind coats. What is a calico? It's not a breed, but a color pattern. Calicos are a mix of orange, black, and white fur in the coat, and no two are exactly alike. If the colors are softer, like gray for black or tan for orange, that's what we call a Duluth calico. How do you know if you have a calico and not a tortoiseshell or a tortie? It all comes down to the white fur. Torties are generally only orange and black with no white patches. So if you have a splash of white, she's probably a calico. If not, she's probably in the tortie club. So which of these statements do you think are true for calico cats? The answer is all of the above. Maryland recognized calicos as the official state cat back in 2001. Some cultures believe calico cats bring good luck. Calico cats were brought on board by Japanese sailors to protect against misfortune. The beckoning cat, a Japanese figurine that symbolizes wealth, prosperity, and good luck, was based off a calico cat. In the US, some believe calico cats bring them more money and good luck, hence the name money cats. Irish folklore says you can get rid of warts by rubbing a calico's tail on them, but only during the month of May. Ovary cells from a calico cat named Rainbow were used to clone the first cat, Cece, otherwise known as copycat or carbon copy. Even though Cece had Rainbow's genetics, Cece did not look like a calico due to X inactivation randomness. More on that in a little bit. If you have ever worked at a vet hospital or live with a calico, you know their reputation. There's kind of an unwritten rule that the most extra cat in the room is going to be the calico or the tortie. And guess what? In 2016, UC Davis backed this up. They surveyed over 1,200 cat owners and found that these multicolored beauties were most likely to hiss, chase, bite, swat, or scratch during human interaction. They weren't the only ones. Gray and white cats and black and white cats also scored high on the drama scale. Now don't get me wrong, calicos make great pets, they're just a little spunky. Some people say catitude or tortitude. Personally, I say they are opinionated. You could also say sassy, spicy, feisty, or independent. They all fit. Why are almost all calicos female? It comes down to genetics. Males have one X and one Y chromosome and females have two X chromosomes. Now here's the trick. The gene we are talking about for calico coat color lives on the X chromosome. Calicos have one X chromosome with the orange gene variant and one X chromosome with the black gene variant. But in each cell, the body randomly turns off one X chromosome. This is called X inactivation and it's totally random. If the orange gene variant is turned off, the cell shows black. If the black gene variant is off, the orange shows. That's how you get those patches. The white patches, that's from a completely different gene on a different chromosome. It's dominant, so it shows up whenever it's present. When scientists were choosing an ovary cell from Rainbow, they inadvertently chose one with the orange gene variant inactive, so CC could not make orange fur. Now here's the wild part. One in every 3,000 calicos could be a male. To make that happen, these cats have to have an extra X chromosome, making them XXY, not the standard XY. That rare combination allows these cats to have both the black and orange gene variant, just like a female. However, that extra X chromosome gives them a condition similar to Klinefelter syndrome in humans. These cats are pretty much sterile. Surprisingly, one in every 10,000 male calico cats could be fertile. This isn't exactly lucky, and these cats tend to have more health issues, such as bone fractures, joint disease, heart disease, and diabetes. In all my years, I've only ever seen one male calico cat in person. They are that rare. Why are calicos so special? You can't breed for the calico coat pattern. There's no guarantee it'll be passed on, and Rainbow is a prime example of that. It's a genetic roll of the dice. So if you have a calico, you truly have a one of a kind. That's why some consider calico so lucky. So if you have a sassy calico, now you know it's a little science and a little magic behind their coat color. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to give your calico a chin scratch for me.